Hey everyone, how's it going? Brian here with another Java game explanation. So I'm not going to count this as a full episode, but the last episode we made our runnable game file here so that we could export our game and send it to people or upload it, you know, so on and so forth. Uh, what we're going to do this time is because some people are having problems with it, this is something that I probably should have included in the first episode or in the last episode, and that is how to debug a runnable or executable jar file. Because obviously we're not in Eclipse anymore, so how can you see the errors or what's causing it to crash, uh, etc, etc. So, very simple, probably like a one minute video, here we go. If you're on Windows, I just, I just thought of that. So this is for Windows. If you're on Mac, then it's going to be a little bit different, and Linux is a little bit different. Uh, but let's, let's go through Windows right now, and then if you have questions about other operating systems, just hit me up in the comments. So on Windows, you're going to press Start, and type in CMD and run that. This is the Windows command prompt right here. And we're gonna actually run the file from this command window. And what that will do is our console, like in uh, Eclipse where we have a console that prints out data and error messages, that will all come inside this window here. So to run our file, we type in Java space dash jar, and then the path of your file. So mine is on my desktop right here. So my path, for example, would be C colon backslash users Brian desktop game runnable Brian is cool dot jar. So I'll let you look at that for a second here so you can kind of figure out where your own path is. Just make sure you're using a backslash Make sure you have the correct uh, letter that corresponds to what hard drive you're using. For me, it's C. For most people, it's probably C, unless you have other hard drives. Colon, backslash, and then, again, for me, it's my desktop. Uh, if you don't know the path to your file, you can you know navigate to it in Windows and look at the top of the window, the top of the folder, and it'll show the folders you used to get there. That's your path. Uh, capitalization does matter. Underscores do matter and make sure to put dot .jar at the end there. So after you have that, you press enter, and it should run our game, just like so. But it's also using this as a console. So if you remember, this will print out usually in our Eclipse game, or in our Eclipse environment. And let's see what happens when I press play. It prints out beginning wave and 180, which I believe is our, our money. Yeah, 125, 70. All right, so you guys get the point. So basically, this is now our console. So if you're having issues, if it's not running, if it's crashing, you know, so on and so forth, do this and then, uh, you know, either you can Google what the problem might be or you can comment back with some more specific error messages that you're getting and I'll try to help you then. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video on Indie Programmer.